Hi, I'm Sasha, and like Matt that taught you about the scientific scale, I'm a chemistry researcher. And I love chemistry because you can really understand how the world works. Every day I do new experiments to create things which can go into your DNA so we can find out how it works. And so if it goes wrong, we can create new medicines to fix it. In this video, you'll learn about chemical reactions and you'll find out what a polymer is. We'll be doing the chemistry at a lab at the University of Sheffield, but if you're at home or at school, make sure that you have a parent or teacher with you. In an earlier video, we learned about the scientific scale and the size of small things such as molecules, like the buckyball. A molecule is made up of smaller things called atoms, and these join together to form a chemical bond. This is like holding hands really strongly. To form a chemical bond, they must undergo a chemical reaction. So what is a chemical reaction? Chemical reaction is where we get molecules, called the reactants, that interact with each other to form new molecules, called the products. But how do we know these chemical reactions have happened? In this example, you can see heat and light given off. And in this example, you can see a colour change and gas is given off. And these are all signs that a chemical reaction has taken place. And now I'm going to show you how to make your very own chemical reaction by making a bath bomb. Firstly, we need to gather everything we need. A clean plastic cup, some baking soda, which is used to make bread, some citric acid, which is found in lemons and limes, some colour pigment, so here I've got some orange powder, some water, some fragrance, a spatula, a mould and a plastic spoon. First of all, you take your baking soda and your citric acid and mix them together in your clean plastic cup. Blend together really well using a plastic spoon. Next, add a few grains of your colour pigment, but be careful too much and your bomb won't work. And then mix all together again. The next step is you take your fragrance and add one drop. No more than one drop though, or it will start to react. While stirring in your fragrance, add two sprays of water. If it doesn't start to stick together, then add one more spray. And now the mixture's stuck together, we can pack it tightly into a mould. And finally, turn it out onto a paper towel and leave to air dry for three to four hours. And now, next time you have a bath, you can create your own chemical reaction. How do we know a chemical reaction is taking place? Because we can see bubbles of carbon dioxide, the colour of the water changes, and our bath bomb dissolves into the water. So we can write our reaction like this. Our reactants, citric acid plus baking soda plus water, react to make salt and carbon dioxide. As you know, when atoms join together during a chemical reaction, you get a molecule. But what happens when molecules join together? You get a polymer. A polymer is a long chain of smaller monomers joined together. You've all come across polymers. There's cellulose in plants, wool, and these are both examples of natural polymers. There's polyethylene in plastic bags and acrylic, and these are both examples of man-made polymers. Another man-made polymer is PVA glue. PVA glue is made up of lots of long chain polymers which can attach and tangle together using a molecule called borax. The borax makes the PVA glue change from being really runny to really slimy. To make your own polymer slime, you will need a clean plastic cup, PVA glue solution, borax, food colouring, a pipette and a plastic spoon. And we recommend that you wear gloves for this. First of all, you take your PVA glue solution and pour it into your plastic cup. Notice that it flows like water, but it's much, much slower. Next, you get your food colour in and add a couple of drops. Only two though, otherwise it won't work. And stir it. And then carefully add the borax and stir for 30 seconds. Can you notice any changes in the solution? Now remove the slime you've created from the cup and pat and mould it together in your hands, squeezing any air bubbles. This helps the chemicals mix together better. 
Don't panic if it doesn't work right away. It'll improve as your hands warm it through. And when you think it's ready, let's see how far you can stretch your slime. So there you go. We've learned about chemical reactions and polymers and you've even made your own polymer slime. But why stop there? The world is full of chemical reactions and molecules and maybe you can discover a new molecule just like Sir Harry Croto. We hope you've enjoyed today's video all about chemical reactions between molecules. If you haven't seen them already, why not check out our previous videos about scientific scale and one about one special kind of molecule, the buckyball.